सो आई वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट टू मेक दिस वीडियो सीन्स अ वेरी लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम एंड इट हैज़ बीन मोर देन थ्री ईयर्स बट थिंग्स हैव चेंज सो लॉन्ग इवन अप स्टॉक्स हैज चेंज देर इंटायर ए पी आई एंड द इंटायर इको सिस्टम सो दैट्स गुड फॉर मी राइट बिकॉज आई हैड टू मेक मोर वीडियोज इन द सेम टॉपिक एंड विच आई डोंट लाइक एनी वेज विदाउट फर्दर एड यू लेट्स लेट मी शो यू दैट हाउ द अप स्टॉक्स ए पी आई वर्कस एंड बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल एक्चुअली कोडिंग और एक्चुअली नो दैट हाउ द कोड वर्कस इन द एंटायर ए पी आई इको सिस्टम सो आई गेस एवरीबडी यू हैव गूगल अकाउंट सो वेन यू हैव गूगल अकाउंट यू ऑल्सो हैव गूगल को लैब अकाउंट गो टू गूगल को लैब टाइप इन द सर्च वर्ड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ए वेरी बैड फीडबैक ऑफ स्पीकिंग टू मच फास्ट सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू स्लो थिंग्स डाउन इन ए वेरी डम 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 वे सो आई डो नॉट नो इफ यू लाइक इट और नॉट बट लेट सी फॉर द जनरल पब्लिक्स बिकॉज द मोस्ट व्यूड कोर्स एंड वीडियोज आर ऑलवेज इवन इफ यू सी द पी आर सुंदर एंड एवरी अदर गाइड दे स्पीक वेरी स्लो स्लोली सो आई विल एक्चुअली ट्राई टू डू दैट सो दैट एवरीबडी कैन यू कैच अप एंड ऑल्सो गेट बोर्ड एनी वेज टाइप गूगल को लैब इन द गूगल सर्च एंड क्लिक ऑन हेयर सो वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू नो दैट यू गाइज नी हैव ए बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ पाइथन सो ओके सम गाइज आर वर्किंग सो क्लिक ऑन न्यू नोटबुक वन यू क्लिक देयर विल बी लैंडिंग समथिंग लाइक दिस सो दिस इज बेसिकली जुपिटर एनवायरमेंट सो जुपिटर यू कैन से लेट मी जस्ट शो यू इफ यू टाइप प्रिंट हेलो एंड आई एम प्रेसिंग कंट्रोल प्लस एंटर ऑल्टरनेटिवली यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन वेन यू डू दैट आई एम अकस्टम विथ सॉरी सिप प्लस एंटर सो वेन यू डू सिप प्लस एंटर इट विल जस्ट रन इट सी द कनेक्टिंग इट इज एपियरिंग हेयर सो दिस विल लेट यू वर्क ऑन पाइथन डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द स्क्रीन विदाउट इंस्टॉलिंग एनी सॉफ्टवेयर एनी कैंड स्टॉक लाइक दैट सो यू कैन कॉल इट एन इंटरेक्टिव इन्वायरमेंट सो लेट्स लेक आप स्टॉक्स ए पी आई इंटीग्रेशन सो लेट मी ओपन अपस्टॉक फर्स्ट प्रो डॉट अपस्टॉक्स डॉट कॉम माई मोबाइल नंबर इक्स दिस I have not traded for a long, long time in Nox stocks because I'm an authorized person of. Uh, I have yeah, I am authorized person of Nox stocks only. In my family, everybody is authorized person because you can be only authorized person in one broker as per the rules of NSE. So I took license in everybody's name. <laughs> Everybody does that. Anyways, I got my OTP two four two four nine zero. so this is the actual account okay so you have three variables here let me first define it client id is my 9658986525 the next variable is client pass which is otp so we need to automate it nobody likes to give it and i have client pin anyways <clears throat> before we do that let's go to here and click on my account see i am also exploring <laughs> it may not be in the my account when you are checking it because they keep changing all the time see find apps or something like that okay click on new app do some name youtube video sorry i can be posting of udemy also let me make it on office oh, stop redirect url you can put on off stock put anything it does not matter whatever you put here okay this is optional no need to put anything there confirm plan everything is free allowed app count exceeded i think everything is not free i have too much app anyways let me just delete it see i am nothing now you should allow
okay it's done now this is my api key which i'll be saving in something like you need the client pass and client tin when you do auto login but i have to take permission from upstocks to discuss about the auto login that because sebi does not allow you to auto login at all they need you to wake up in every morning and click on the trading account log in there and get the access token and put it so that you forget half of the times and you lose less money anyways that's the main goal so this is my api key and api secret now we shall be going to the main documentation see i have kept open chat gpt okay let it open yeah that's fine after chat gpt i also fired most of my coders so it is very good thing very good thing that happened in my life so the url construction is something like this let me ask chat gpt code to code okay you can see actually how i am using the chat gpt i want i have these variables generate login in the above format keeping these variables why it is giving i i do not want you are a leave why should i use that there is no need to make things complicated i hate using more libraries when there is no need so i don't still any state here let me remove the state part see uh, state is something like uh, you can tell that i need to see only positions or something like that i need to only see holdings i need to uh, fire only orders so who gives a fuck on that i, I let me print it, have every state okay and my redirect url is i guess i have given http see sometimes i give www and sometimes i don't give www so i need to check once more previously i was not this amount of forgetful it happened after losing sleep so many times so these are the only two things that are needed let's run it yeah it's working pretty fine <clears throat> now what is the next goal the next goal is authentication then we need to do this and after doing this we will be getting some token hmm so let's generate that token so before generating the token let's see what we should do with the token because when a token is generated see after you log in you do the login you get access token you get a token basically using that token or they will get blah 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 okay parameter come as a code so whatever so when you get a code like that that you are successfully logged in after that you need to send it back to again to the upstocks and get an upstocks token uh, access token so this process is very fast so how this works i am not even reading it i am just copying it asking chat gpt to code it make it in python i already have client id client secret i'll check it don't worry also not reading it so basically i'll be getting a code which i have to put manual okay i'll put it here i already have api key i already have api secret i already have redirect uri so these three things i have 
so when i log in using this link i'll be getting some authorization code anyways so let's do it uh it is because i think i have already logged in when in the start of the video it is asking only the pin so if it does not ask you the pin that's fine you can just start from the beginning and put the otp and stuff so i am just putting my pin it will redirect should redirect to anobis.com with the code and my website is pretty slow because i yeah yeah in a blabbery see it came see the code is here so copy the code and run it you got the access token see as easy as that so what is the next part token api we already got the token api get my profile i will again copy this and i'll paste here uh, let me check one minute that if i have saved the access token no i have not saved the access token so access token equal to i have already copied it make it in python so how it is getting the access token yeah somehow like this i am pretty sure that you cannot code like this and you have not you have only seen me coding python the variable declaration i have only declared the variable myself and rest of the code is coming from chat gpt so that's how things become very fast in the world of ai so this is my access token right now and this is my code to get what i was getting the profile get profile okay blah blah so far you have learned how to get the access token and how to get profile details i already have the access token declared here so i'm just removing it everything else is fine let's just run it see it is giving my email also and i do not like this structure at all so i am doing some more coding from preprint import preprint see it looks coming very beautifully now what else is there get user fund and margin you can again just copy the curl there is no python given here and you have to just go to chat gpt paste it here make it in python previously you have to pay so many people to do this getting margin so in the previously i was talking that how to get this access token uh, by automating right so in this process uh, whatever process you have seen, uh, seen till now hey wait before i speak too much let me just click here and let me show you actually let me show you some more thing i want to do it p print it will come more beautifully should come more beautifully oh ho leave it is mixing the dick see everything is coming fine so <clears throat> yes so what i was talking here i was talking uh, that you have to go to this url and you have to manually log in so this can be done you have seen that login with abstracts button in sensible so it is basically that sensible is giving you a login url or any other software they are giving you a login url and when you are clicking there and going inside that software is getting 
the access token and using that access token they can do all kind of operations like i am doing the first two you can also try all of this if i make subsequent videos uh, which i will make for sure you will get i will be showing you how to get the portfolio how will get the order and all the other stuff market code so for this video you have learned how how to authenticate your authenticate your account how to log in into your account and how to get the basic user details like getting the profile and getting the fund and the margin so the three modules are completed in a very concise manner so now there is one illegal way so in using which you don't have to log in each day at all you can actually automate this procedure that you can actually programmatically make it like you will go to this url and you will give your username password and pin automatically and it will fill it and it will get the access token so the program will start run at let's say 9 am and it will generate the access token and it will auto automatically run every stuff so let me see if i can get the permission to share that code or discuss about that as i am authorized person i can get penalized by them so if i get permission i'll be sharing that part also so see you in the next video hope you like it yeah uh, one more thing i was thinking to make whatever code i do Uh, properly formatted so that you guys can check it out in the later videos or later when you can check stuff so this is the part 1 and in part 1 i have discussed about three things that let me just copy paste it from there authentication login and user details authentication of of stock accounts getting user details profile and fund and margin getting profile getting margin details now let me open github and let me make a resp uh, what is repository and you can file all my code there so if you are following this upstock series go here upstocks api pro maybe code base for upstocks api made for an artist community add a readme file and let me now save it file save a copy in github now it is done so when you finish making this video uh, in the downside in the description you will be finding the link of it this one and you can actually go to this link it will be landing here and this is the first one i'll be updating the readme in a very good way so you, you can also get the details of the video which video goes to where but it is pretty basic that if you click on this part i i did a middle click so it is opening on the this side opening in a new tab you can check my exact code and exact output here so you can replicate what i have done so far okay so thank you for watching this video